So I'm on my way to Two Guns Ghost Town, and I found another landmark ghost town. It's not even a ghost town, it's like an abandoned rest stop. Twin Arrows, as you can see. Twin Arrows. We're gonna go take a look at this abandoned rest stop. It's uh, covered in graffiti. Looks like there could be some uh, homeless crackhead pirates in here, so I'll be a little uh, vigilant going in, but uh, yeah, let's check out Twin Arrows. Got a lot of cartooning graffiti here. I don't know if this is an old water tower or what this was. Classic. Three Star Motel. It's cold, see some snow on the ground. Hello, everybody home. This is wild, man. I wonder how long it's been since this place was in business. That seems safe. I bet this was a great place to stop and buy a burger back 70 years ago. Let's take a look in here. Gotta watch out for nails. Hello, anybody home? Yeah, when in Rome, right? Do as the Romans do. Hey, what's up guys, anybody home? trek any deeper into there just because that roof has collapsed I don't believe anybody's in here though looks thoroughly abandoned but I always like to check just in case because there are a lot of homeless a lot of strange characters that like to squat in these places but right now it looks like I'm hopefully the only strange character here Cosby. I wonder if that was before or after the, uh, the dark part of his history came to light. This has been thoroughly vandalized and explored by other people, but my first time, so it's pretty cool. Hey, anybody need a new recliner? Gently used.
twin arrows. How depressing. Oh, looks like this used to be a kitchen of sorts. Good advice. If you wanted to get a hot dog back in the day, here's where you got it, or some, some ice cream, huh? Look at this. Perhaps that's where the shitter was back in the day. You are on stolen land. Yeah, so are you. All right, let's see. I remember seeing the guy who made that graffiti. All right, let's see. Man, look at this. I'm gonna stop and take a few pictures here. All right, I'm gonna go back out the way that I came in. Actually, I'm gonna go out this way. Well, that is Twin Arrows, everybody. Check out that snow. I haven't touched snow in a long time. There it is. It's hot. <laughs> so I have no idea on the history of this place, like how long it's been closed or anything like that. Yeah, it used to be a cafe there, it's pretty cool. I don't know, I'm gonna guess, how would you say, maybe closed like 25 years ago, something like that? Hard to say. Pretty cool. Right. Here's where you'd go and buy your lottery tickets and a smoothie. All right, so that was a quick little look at Twin Arrows Rest Stop, abandoned rest stop. On to two guns, let's go. All right, I have arrived at two guns. This also appears to be a mostly abandoned, well, an entirely abandoned rest stop. I don't really know necessarily if it was a town or if it was a bunch of businesses or really what the deal was, but I can tell you for sure this was a garage at one point, and there was probably a convenience store. And anyway, we're gonna take a look around, see what's left. I talked to a couple truckers that are posted up out there by the abandoned truck stop. They didn't know anything about it. They just said, hey, it's a ghost town. So that's the extent of my historical knowledge on it. But it looks like there's an abandoned truck stop and a few abandoned old uh, remnants of buildings over here. So let's go take a look. All right, now the real question is, is that Davy Crockett or Paul Bunyan? Not sure. These are the questions, guys. I 
I see you. Well, I gotta say I'm a little underwhelmed. There's really not much left here. Just some rubble really in that truck stop. But hey, worth checking out, definitely. But like I said, kind of disappointing, not much here. Now this is more like it. This is pretty cool. Got an empty swimming pool with a bunch of graffiti. I'm sure a lot of skateboarders had a lot of fun in here. Wow. Maybe at one time there was a hotel here or they were intending on there being a hotel. This would have been the pool house. Oh, cabana boy. That's pretty cool. Whoa, I'm drowning, dude. Satisfying. Now, aside from the freeway, you can really see just how in the middle of nowhere we are right now. Pretty wild, man. That's where the pool is over there. All right, we're approaching some more of the abandoned buildings, or what's left of them. See all these old metal cans and shards of metal here. Somebody ate some beans. There's one of the buildings, or what's left of one over there. I guess at this point we could just call them ruins. More modern ruins. Hello down there. Well, I personally did not see any no trespassing signs, so let's continue. Check it out. Oh, there's a bridge over there. Pretty cool. Welcome to MTV Cribs. Check out the new unfazed crib. bringing a sharpie with me to put unfazed was here <laughs> don't have a sharpie on me though what a view it does not look like it can bear a lot of weight but it has all these years. That's pretty cool. Hail Satin? These guys like satin. This reminds me of True Grit when she falls in the mine. Maybe this was a mine at one time, I don't know. Not quite sure. It's a very old building though, that one I was just in. So it leads me to believe these are a heck of a lot older than just a truck stop. Uh, not much left of this one. Look, even the fence gave up trying a few decades ago.
don't think I'm going to be able to get to that one. That's okay, there's not really much to it. All right, so this is pretty cool, and I would definitely like to explore a lot more ghost towns. I don't know how many are left in Arizona, but I Googled them and quite a few came up, but they're spread out all over, you know? Some are down like three hours away, south of Phoenix, closer to Tombstone and stuff like that. Then I'm sure there's others scattered around like Wickenburg and Cottonwood and Payson and who knows. But um, yeah, this one was not too bad of a drive. It's like uh, about an hour and 20 minutes from Camp Verde, so yeah um, well, I just ran out of road here so I might have to walk around Simba one day this will all be yours so we're at a pretty high elevation so I'm losing my breath even quicker than usual we're just uh about 15, 20 minutes north of Flagstaff. So yeah, we're high up there. There's a lot of snow on the ground, which is kind of cool, kind of refreshing. It's a long, lonely road. What do you think? Do we trust the old bridge? I say we go for it. Seems stable enough. Back in the olden days, this used to be an arcade. Just kidding, I have no idea. These look more like dwellings from, I would say what, maybe, maybe the 1800s, maybe earlier? Not entirely sure. Quite old. Whoa, that's pretty cool. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go see what's over there. to get a little creative getting over to this side. All right. This is the last of two guns. Let's check it out. Reminds me of something from Red Dead Redemption. Wow, look at this. I wonder how long it's been since anyone lived here. been a while. Either this is where they had a chicken coop or they had big fires. I'm not sure. Up we go. Very little left. Mountain lions. All right, maybe a bunch of mountain lions lived here. I thought that was a Schwarzenegger picture for a second. I was mistaken.
I don't know what used to be here, but this is very thick old glass. Take a look at that. That's not your standard safety glass, let me tell you. Look at that, man. Wild stuff. I was walking past this and I thought, man, I'll probably never look inside this thing ever again. So let's take a look. There it is. Inside the, whatever it was, outhouse, pump house thing. All right, so as the sun is setting on the ghost town of Two Guns, I gotta say, I'm glad I checked it out. Didn't have nearly as many buildings standing as I had hoped, but some of these are really old. So the fact that there's anything standing is pretty cool. Um, yeah, am I glad I came? Totally. Am I glad I could share the experience with you guys? Yes. Is the elevation killing me? Tiny bit. But thanks for joining me on this unfazed excursion, guys. Like, subscribe, and as always, remain unfazed. See ya. Over the bridge. Aha, <laughs> this trucker thought it was a real truck stop still. What an idiot. What a fucking buffoon. Just a quick closing thought. If you guys ever do anything like me and go exploring by yourself, Make sure you tell someone where you're at, just in case, because shit happens. You could fall and break a leg, get bit by a rattlesnake, go missing, I don't know. But it's always good for someone to know where you're at, just in case. Just a thought. See ya. Hello? Hey, can I get some gas? Maybe some Doritos? It's just you and me, Tumbleweed. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. Ah!